is that? Oh, shit. So, how are you guys doing today? Um, still waiting for. Still waiting for our guest. Okay, I don't know if she's up now. So, if you are joining us on Facebook, drop in the comments where you are watching joining us from hashtag live, share this video, share this video. You want to drop in the comments where you are joining us from. And where you are what, joining us from hashtag live. Wondering why I can't share this video on Facebook. So, um, as the tutorial, please, if you can, if you can uh, hear me, kind you drop a chat on, drop a chat so that I know your Andrew on Zoom. And bring you up as a panelist. I'm trying to locate you. You are welcome from Jalingo, Ninja. You're all welcome to today's Zoom call. I'm trying to bring our guest up. So drop your location in the um on Facebook. Share this video. Uh, yes, they please kindly drop a chat. Let me know your Zoom handle so that we can bring you up. Share the video.
I can't find you. May we win? Welcome. Let me see those who have joined us. I'm trying to see, get to our guest to drop a shot so that we can bring her up as a panelist. I'm a stop bubble today. I'm a stop bubble today. But they are there, me on Facebook, Vivian, you're welcome. Joy, Eddie Sachs, you're all welcome. Chinway, Joy Tambo, Collins, Ever Rich. And then uh, you're all welcome to, to this too. Keep commenting. Was I believe our guests? Unstoppable today. I can't find glad to be here. You're welcome, Funke. Um, uh, SD, if you are live on Zoom, please kindly drop a comment, drop a chat so that we know your handle and bring you up as a panelist. We are all set to hear from you today. Miriam, you're welcome. Akudu, you are welcome. Do we? I'm unstoppable. No, we're live. Hello. Okay, what's your Zoom handle? Hey. 
I really care for you. <laughs> yeah. Yep. You must stop about today. Hello, thank uh, you. If you can hear us, uh, ISD, please kindly, kindly unmute yourself and your video. Okay. Unmute. We can't hear you yet. Can, can you hear me now? Yeah, we can, can you hear, hear you now. now. Okay, cool. Fantastic. Welcome. Yeah. Thank you. How are you today? I'm super cool. I'm fine. Okay. I know uh, the internet has made, uh, has made this possible for us to connect with you. A lot of people have connected on Facebook, on the group. Okay. Global bosses right. and we we're having a bit of a network challenge because it keeps hanging. Hello. Hello, can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you now. I don't know what is wrong. Yeah, it's, I don't know what is wrong with the internet here now. now. But I can hear you now. Okay. Okay, um, we all get started. Uh, my name is Charles Tambo. I'm the boss of the Global Bosses. I'm so excited to bring this show to Ross. Because, Thank you. Um, Let me go to somewhere that might have better reception. Because it keeps hanging. I want to change position to somewhere that might have better reception. Can you give me 30 seconds? Hmm? Can we do a 30 second break? Let me just move to another location that might have better reception. Okay, it's okay. Okay. 30 minutes, 30 seconds, not minutes. The network is acting up today. I don't know. Um, this is one of the things we face in Nigeria for network. <laughs> <laughs> we'll overcome it. Yeah. All right. Mm. Okay. Okay. We will survive. Yeah. Let's do this. So we are well. We are waiting for your picture now. Mm, can you see me? Mm. No, not can yet. Can you see me now? Oh. 
It's only your name. Can you unmute your unmute your video? Yeah, I've allowed the video. Video is on. Okay. Okay. Yep. Not free now. Later. So, guys, you you're, you're welcome to today's show with uh, SD. We will just manage with the network. Sometimes it's like yeah. that. And, um, all, all you, you want to do now at the moment, you want to drop in the comments where you are washing us, washing us from. I wanted to share this video. I wanted to apply the ATM system, add tag and message your team members because they all need this to create their business in order for you to succeed in this business you need to follow those who are successful in the business and that's why we came up with this show so that you can hear from the star directors how they made it to where they are their journey so far and the rest and we are so opportune to have one of the best in our midst today as the two eater I know you know her well. If you are someone who has attended our world several times, you know that this woman, uh, when she, whenever she hemsies, um, <laughs> no way, <laughs> there's no way you will now sit down and listen to uh, what she has. So you. she has already she 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 has lots of leaders in her team. She has also built to the level of. Uh, popping out star directors <laughs> in our team also. So recently, she just gave birth to a new star director and I heard one is also on the way. <laughs> so guys, yeah. we are privileged to hear from the, the, the one of the best in, in Longridge. So Thank please uh, pay more than the usual attention, take notes, Whatever no get, it's not you know no. They are, I'm feeding you. We are feeding you with so many things now. So all you need to do is not a must. You must apply all the things you are hearing from this star director. But yeah. pick something and walk towards that thing, and you surely get to where you want to be. And so you are welcome, Hesdi. Thank you, thank You're you, Charles Thank you so much. So we want to we want to, we want to hear from you. You want, you want to tell us how you started. <laughs> Network okay. marketing, the journey, yeah. your journey in network marketing, then how, without without mentioning any company, then how you came on board um, Longridge and uh, the journey so far in Longridge, what advice you have for new ones who are coming on board and what advice you have for old ones who have been on the system, those who are, who, who are thinking of giving up their business, okay. what advice you have for them? And those who are in the business, what can they learn from you? Okay. Okay. You're back up. Can you hear me now? Yes. Can hear you All now. right. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. So, Let me start by saying thank you to you for this nice. Um, What's the word? This initiative, yeah. You know, calling up leaders to speak with okay. people. It's amazing. It's a great platform to share knowledge and all. Uh, okay. So, thank hi everyone. Thank you for tuning in today. My name is Ito Afama, two star director, Long Beach International. Thank you, Charles Tambu, SD Charles Tambu. Thank you for being so eager to share knowledge with everyone. Okay, so quickly, you said I should share my journey in network marketing and then narrow it down to language. So network marketing mm. for me began about eight years ago. At that time, I actually was totally green. I knew next to nothing about network marketing. However, I was willing to find out what was this industry that was churning out millionaires, you know, young ladies making a lot of money. And I was curious and I decided to learn. So I did a lot of reading, you know, 
talking with people, asking. And so the first company I got involved with was interesting, but I did not push that business because I had some, should I say, obstacles at that time that I could not surmount. I didn't want to be in a business that forced me to make sales, even when I didn't feel like selling. So I pulled out of that company. But it was a great company. And then I joined another company, made a lot of money there, raised a lot of leaders. But once again, I got that um, bottleneck of having to make sales every month. And it was, for me, that wasn't freedom because what actually took me to network marketing was the promise of freedom. I had worked in the corporate sector for years and you know how the corporate sector is. You have good pay, but you're quite busy. So I wanted something that would give me good money as well as freedom. Freedom in terms of time, freedom in terms of um, choices. You know, so when I got to know that network marketing can give me that, I got interested. And let me quickly say that I did not get interested in the companies. I got interested in the people who were showcasing this company. So I was attracted to the leaders who were showing us the potential in the companies. And I got to learn from them directly. And also, of course, from the internet. I read like everything my eyes land on concerning network marketing. So right now, when it comes to network marketing, I am easily an authority because I have been in it. I have learned about it from other people and I have my own experiences. I've built a lot of leaders. So with all that background, when I met Longbridge, it became a walkover because Longbridge in itself is designed for ease. So it's designed for ease. Anybody will make it in Long Beach if they learn the ropes. Then my experience also came to play. And so for me, Long Beach has been a serious compensation for all the years that I've invested in network marketing. Fantastic. Uh, I hope you can hear me. Yes, I can hear you. The, the, the network is uh, something else today. It's very cool, yeah. Maybe because I'm not, I'm not in my regular location also. Oh, okay. <laughs> Some, uh, with Abuja. Okay. So, okay. Um, that, that's okay because I, I, I got something from you. Uh, how, um, how, you, how you started network marketing. You've read wide uh, about the profession and that has really, yeah. that's, uh, also helped you when you joined Longbridge. Can you now tell us your journey, how you got started, when you started, how how it was at the beginning? And, um... <laughs> okay, so in the beginning, when I joined Longbridge, I'm one of those people who joined thinking they were doing their upline a favor. So I joined to... Um, I joined so that my upline would stop disturbing me in, in, in literal terms. I joined to please Estihana <laughs> Wills, for those who know her, you know, cause she was telling me this company is great. They have great products. You should be a part of it. And I did not believe that Long Beach could be a platform that I could achieve my, you know, I have really big dreams. I didn't believe Long Beach was that platform at that time because I did not know who Long Beach was. So I just joined to make Estihana let me be, you know, just like, oh, so that my friend would be angry with me. <laughs> and so that's why I joined at the time. But as time went on, I began to watch her. I watched her. I saw that she had got tremendous results from using the products in her health. And then I also saw that they started to pay her. And I thought about it. I said, if this opportunity can give my friend better health and also pay her, why exactly am I stalling? Why don't I take this opportunity and see what I can do with it? And so I humbled myself and began to ask her, what exactly do I need to do? And then beyond that, I began to read, really, really, really. So I was a slow starter. So for those here who are slow starters, maybe you didn't start with a bang, you didn't start with a lot of speed, you know, and you're probably 
not so comfortably the fact that other people are doing very well in a short space of time and it's taking me time we can we can get comfort and inspiration from my story i was a slow starter i didn't start with a bang at all i started on a very poor footing when i joined language because i had seen a lot in other companies who had promised me a lot and did not deliver and so i felt i was not going to give long beach my energy you know i just thought okay they have good products i'll just buy it and go but when i saw people begin to reap from what they were sowing in long beach so i saw oluchi udeme and hana they were the first three people who got cars in akwaibo that got me thinking i said i saw these young ladies begin this journey and today they own brand new cars and they've been earning money they qualified for trips abroad and so i said to myself this thing is real i can also be a part of it and i began to search for knowledge my thirst for knowledge is insatiable mm. for me so, so you 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 joined you joined the business so you joined the business you didn't do anything yeah it was when you started saying your your upline having results yes. before you yes. you took the business serious yes yes okay i remember you said you got one of the one well, your, your, your uplines and that was one of the things that attracted <laughs> you to that yes but yes you get this small small money we're not asking that exactly. what kind of small money is this until the day she got 93000 naira when i saw 93000 naira in a week i quickly did the mental math i said 93 in four places now that sounds like a monthly income i can begin to discuss <laughs> you know so these results got me interested and then based on those results i found out what they were doing and i began to duplicate it so network marketing is pretty simple all you need to do is find out what works and then duplicate it simply wow. put yeah walk in the footsteps of those that have gone ahead of you yes you will have your own added creativity you know your own personal signature okay but it's pretty simple introduce three people now those three people can be anybody for me my three people were quite easy my husband my sister my mother very simple <laughs> you know your low hanging fruit you don't need to go far and then after that you can add your friends your children's friends parents people are actually everywhere so people who say i don't have three people they they just haven't learned to look so personally what i tell people i say if you know this thing you have is good news you will be willing to share good news mm. with other people it is when people feel that network marketing is a burden when they feel that it's a drag that's when it becomes difficult for you to share with other people so when someone says to you i don't have three people they are not saying they don't have three people what they are actually saying to you is i don't think this thing is good enough for the people i have so it's our place to educate people you know we have to constantly educate people once people are properly educated the consequence of proper education is action so as soon as people are properly educated they will take action fantastic uh, I, i believe so much in education that's why when i got started this business um i i i, I do i focus more on trainings a lot yeah yes. people get to know what this profession is all about because if you have the right uh, education and understanding you do the business well and think that, that that was one of the things that also prompted this uh, webinar because people really need to know how to really build their business how the start directors got to where they are now i thank you for sharing how what got you started and, and took your business hop when you got started long bridge where the time where where we, the, in the, how did you not build to get to where you are what were the building building process like okay so As soon as I decided to give it my time and energy, I knew that I want to be at the top. Because there's no point when there is the full nine years, then it takes two or three years. So if I want to set my heart to do something, I decide to go all the way. 
So as soon as I have spent my time researching the industry first, what's the network marketing industry about? So I learned about it, the history and all. I now moved a step further and I began to read about Long Beach as a company. And by the time I understood who Long Beach is, I now knew that I would definitely go all the way with Long Beach. And that's why what I did first of all was to raise a team of people who could see what I was seeing. My team is called Dream Achievers because see. we dream achievers because we 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 sit and, and cultivate a dream. This is what we want. And you know, everything you see has been created twice. The first time was in the mind of the creator. So you sit and create the outcome, mm. and then we start working through the process to reach that outcome. So it depends on what your plan is. I wanted a situation where I could be completely free financially and free for my family. So I believe in freedom when it comes to choices. I would like to be free enough to make a choice without checking bank balances. So this is what we need to do as a family. This is what we need to do as an individual. I don't need to check my bank balance. What I want to know is, is this the right thing to do? Yes, and then we go ahead and do it. So I, I raised a team of people who could see, people who could dream. I teach my team members to dream. I say, look, your dream has to be big enough to scare you, something that you say, Am I okay dreaming this kind of thing? But that's what to do. Yeah, we have to learn to dream. And then we go for it. So first of all, what I did was raise a team of people to whom I could sell that vision that, listen, this language thing, we can actually do a lot with it. It's beyond, I always tell my team, it's beyond toothpaste and pad. It's beyond weekly mm. alerts. It's about how many lives can be traced to yours in appreciation. How many people can say, because you introduced me to this business, my life changed, or because you did this for me. Well, how many communities can you point to and say, this is you know, a place I have touched. So it's way, way, way beyond you know, products and with their legs. It's, it's pretty large. So that's what I did in the beginning, try to sell the vision to the people. So when people join my team, I usually ask them, what do you want to gain from your page? Why are you here? Yeah. So if you can define your why, then we can work out a process of how for you. Now, not everybody is able to go through that exercise. For some people, they feel, what are you asking? I came here because I want to make money. But you see, for those who can actually sit and think and articulate, it's easier for them because they have crafted their destination. It's like you now, Charles, mm -hmm. you're in Abuja. Before you left Asaba, you knew where you were headed. You didn't go to the airport and just jump into any available aircraft. You actually bought a ticket for a particular destination. So you have to start by knowing your destination. Where am I going to? Do I want financial freedom? Do I want a healthier lifestyle? Do I want to build community? I want to build a community of people because you know that's part of network marketing. The fact that you build a community of people that you can work with. So let me know, what are you here for? And then we now craft the how for you, how to get there. Hello, Charles, are you on? Hello. So. All right. Hello. The, yeah, oh, I can sorry. Hear you. <laughs> I'm battling with the network here. So, um, thank you. You, 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 you. you had to raise a team. I know every leader, if you check out the webinar, one, all, all of them has to to do with the team. Yeah. So, you need a team. You need to sell the vision to the team. Hack yeah. them for their why. Guys. If you are getting any nugget from this video, nuggets you're getting from this video, if you're on Facebook, drop it in the comment. If you are on, uh, on Zoom, I want you to drop it in the comment. 
Now, were they challenges when you when when you when you when you were doing your <laughs> no. doing your business? Were they times? Yeah, challenges like, every day. <laughs> to give up was it time you felt that way <laughs> there are challenges every day it's just that some days are you know more challenging than the other but there are challenges every day mm. <laughs> every single day so um for me uh, some of the challenges i faced are not peculiar really most of the challenges we face in network marketing happen to most of us which is why it becomes easy when we learn from each other. So the few challenges I faced, first of all, I was coming from the corporate sector. I worked in one of the best banks in Africa. <laughs> so I was coming from a place where you wear nice suits and go to work in a nice environment to a place where you're now speaking to people about how a company that produces soap and toothpaste can make them a millionaire. So some people looked at me and wondered, at what point I lost it. How can you come out from this kind of corporate setting and then you're coming to talk about smart products as basic. You know, if I had come out and I had gone into oil and gas maybe, or gone into heavy machinery, you know, or gone into airlines, something that looks big, it may have been more acceptable, but you leave a multinational and come to speak about soap and toothpaste. So a lot of people felt sorry for me, they pitied me like, ah, this, this is kind of downgrading. So I faced that in quotes, I could call it mockery, but it wasn't overt, it was covert. You know, the people were not quite sure, should they pity this girl or should they, you know, support her? They were not quite sure. So that was a major challenge, trying to sell to them that, listen, this thing is a billion dollar industry. That, and then another thing was basic, every network marketer faces rejection. So a lot of people would say, I don't do network marketing. I don't get involved in things like this. I can use the products, yes, but I cannot be part of the growth of the company. You know, so I faced rejection as well. And the rejection becomes worse when it's from people close to you. You know, so those friends, that you expect would jump at the opportunity. I remember telling a few of my friends, I would tell them, I said, I would have thought that because of how you regard me. I mean, we've been friends for years. So I would expect that if I come to you with an opportunity, you should validate it because it's coming from you. So initially I would expect that my friends would jump at long because I was offering it. But no, I faced quite a lot of rejection from my friends who were close to me. They just did not get it. I also faced, of course, the issue of being disappointed. So you would go speak with someone and the person would say, yeah, 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 good idea, great idea. I'm signing up at the end of the month. And then when the end of the month comes and you start calling the person, the person doesn't <laughs> pick up your calls anymore. So that disappointment <laughs> was there as well. And then this one is something that really is quite heartbreaking. This challenge is people who join. They actually bring out their money, fill out a form, join your team. And then having joined, they now expect you to do all the work for them which we know is not possible. And then when you are unable to do all the work for them, they now become angry, okay? And they say things about you that are not printable. So that is also a challenge we face regularly. Well, not regularly, but we face it a couple of times where someone actually joins your team and then goes back home to sit and expects you to build a team for him or her and you know, help him earn weekly. And when you are unable to do that, because it's impossible to do that consistently, the person now feels betrayed, like, oh, she's growing, she's getting past, she's traveling abroad, but she abandoned me. You know, so that's a major challenge to trying to get people to take ownership of their business and work with you. So I tell people, I will work with you, not for you. You know, because I'm also working on my business so we can work together. 
it's you don't just sit and fold your arms and expect someone else to be everything. So that's that's also a challenge. And of course, the major challenges in the company when you need a particular product and it's not available, that can be a major challenge. But you have to learn how to use available products per time to drive your business. There's also the challenge of growing businesses outside your country. That's a challenge. Sometimes it's language barrier. Sometimes you travel and you're homesick. <laughs> so those are challenges too that we have faced and we've meant to overcome. And now this last challenge I want to speak about is for every mother who's doing language. I constantly face the challenge of having to leave my children sometimes, maybe for a company event or a presentation out of town. So for all the moms out there who have that challenge, you feel guilty, you feel like, oh, I can't make this trip because of this child. I want to encourage you, we all feel that way. But you see, even if you were working in a regular nine to five, you would still have to make trips sometimes without your children. When I worked in a bank, there were times I had to travel for trainings. I remember once I traveled for a six week training out of town. Another one was two weeks, some would be three days. And of course you won't go with your children, but you would go without thinking because you have an employer to answer to. At the end of the month, your salary will be the same. It means increase. You see, but with Long Beach, you have a choice. So you can choose when to travel and when not to travel. And when you do travel and have a fruitful journey, your income will definitely increase. So that's a major challenge too. But you see, everything has to do with understanding and moderation. So we get to learn from each other. I keep emphasizing learning because truly whatever challenge you are facing, someone else has faced it before. You may think it's unique to you, but it's not. By the time you share it, you find out that someone else had gone through that at some point and you can learn how the person is acting. So that's it in a nutshell. Quite a long list of challenges. <laughs> So I, I, I believe many of us out here can relate with one or two of the challenges, if not all of them, because uh, every road to success, there's always a roadblock. You must <laughs> find a way through it. Uh, either you pass through it, up of it, side, anywhere you want to pass through it, make sure <laughs> you don't, you don't you stop boy, who? because of this. Uh, <laughs> yes, anyhow, you must pass through it. So... Thank you for sharing this child. Many, many, when they see you get the star directors, they want to know is it rocket science? How they got there? Maybe they have all the skill before they got started. That's why. Or oh, somebody say, Charles, all your friends, I believe all your friends in other system joined you. That's why you got to where you are today. So, well, none of them joined me. The first person that joined me was a stranger, not even my family member. So, are you there? Hello? 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 Network going off and on. Can you hear me? You're back. Can you hear me? No.
Let's wait for our guests to be up. I know you are getting a lot of nuggets from this video. The network is acting up today, even from my end. You can see from the SD, you can see that this thing, for you to get to where you want to be, it is, it is, it is not a, a smooth road. When you come on board this business, make sure you are applying some of the things you are learning from this video. Um, some of the things you think you're not doing well, make sure you apply them. We're all learning, even uh, myself here, I'm, I'm, I'm also learning from, from the star directors. Success is all about uh, learning from those who are successful. Can you hear me now? So I can, okay, you're welcome back. I can hear you. We'll continue to manage our network. So, so far, okay. let's, okay, let's, thanks. Um, thanks. <laughs> what advice now? We're wrapping up. What advice do you have for new ones who are coming on board this business and the old ones? I saw the screen. She said she wants to find out how she can build her business, seeing that she's still in active service at work. So I think I'll just start with that before I go ahead to do a general one. So a lot of us started network marketing while we were still working on the site. The first company I joined, I was still working and I joined it before I resigned from my job. Yet, we have people who still work nine to five who are still doing very well in network marketing. We have people who own their own businesses. So let me quickly use two examples. In the beginning, Charles Campbell mentioned that we just recently had a new star director a few weeks ago and another one a few days ago. Now, the one who became star director a few weeks ago, Pastor Anefi, she's a full-time pastor, and she owns a school. She's a proprietress of a school. Now, that can be pretty busy, owning a school and pastoring a church. Yet, she just became star director in language. It's about time management, and it's about prioritizing your activity. Mm. One person who became a star director, if you teach on the weekend, then she does not go to the office. Now she maximizes her Saturdays and her Sundays. She uses it to do presentations, both online and offline. She also uses it to invest in training her team. You see that phone or laptop in your hand is a money-making machine that you can use. So when you close from work, what do you do with yes. What do you do with your time when you close from work? Now let me let me give you two scenarios. Some um, so I knew everything happening in the super class. Everything. I followed it every single night. And I was enjoying it. But in the last two years i can count how many times i've sat to watch the soap opera my son noticed one of my sons noticed, he said mommy why don't you watch tv in this house <laughs> and i laughed i said to him don't worry i'm working so that very soon you can watch your mom on tv as well you see because i realized that the time i would sit in front of the tv screen checking out these soap operas, I could use it to build my business. And so I used that time to reach out to my friends, reach out on cold calls online. I used that time for self-development. So I'm buying courses online, I'm reading books online, I'm reading hard copy books, I'm reviewing books with my friends, my book club members. When you're, you're, you're all too, uh, can you unmute yourself?
Can you can you hear me? Can you unmute? Okay. Okay. It's okay now. Yeah. All right. So I was saying that time management is what you need to do if you are a full time worker. Like the people who the example I gave, pastor, and people who work full time, yet they have time sizing your activities. You know, you don't need the whole day to go your network marketing business. Even if you develop a uh, uh, Okay, I'm back on. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. So things like so simple basic activities can actually Very few people are doing network marketing. Very few. I run other businesses. I run other business. So we still run other businesses. So there's really nothing like I'm prioritizing the activities. So that's for people who want. And then for those who say, oh, I'm new, how do I do this? Mm. It's pretty simple. It's Getting one, two, three people. You just take care of poverty. And so, in sharing, you educate. And in each other lecture, something is tomorrow. <laughs> you have to build its precept upon precept. Yeah. Get ready to build when you start a new people. And for those who have been in the business for a while, you probably feel I've had people say to me, What's the secret? I've done everything, but I'm not still looking. I want to encourage you. It's not the same day you plant a seed that you harvest it. So if you're doing all the right things, know that that's your seed time, your planting time. Just keep planting. Allow a process of time and your harvest will surely come. Do your best practices. Keep learning. Don't stop learning. And don't quit. The only people who don't finish are those who quit. But if you stay on the list, we can assure you that you will reach your goal, regardless of how long it takes you to reach. Hello. Well, uh, thank you. Thank you very much for the, the nuggets you share. Uh, some of them we 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 didn't hear some because of the network <laughs> was going off. That's and on. Yeah. Um, yeah, then um, I think I, I got something why why we should not be it's, it's important we don't quit. Yeah, it's focus very important. On our, our, the, the building, there's a building process and there is time for plant harvest. planting, there's yes. time to harvest. Yeah. So guys, you should take note of that. So I know there is no star director today that is not making money. <laughs> I, yeah, right. Why should I be? 
Why should I be a star director? Why? The reason why we want you to be a star director is want, we want you to be financially free. If she is to yeah. mention, and just tell us how far, what is your success so far in Long Beach? Let's okay. round up. Okay. <laughs> All right. So for me, my greatest success in Long Beach is the fact that I've raised a lot of financially free people across a lot of countries. In fact, and people are earning money in several because I introduced them directly to Wow, what's happening to the network? I can't hear you. Other people are financially free and living a healthier life because I think that God has blessed me with this. Yeah, greatest. Can you hear me? Oh, wow. Okay, we can hear you now. <laughs> well, guys. Hello. Okay. No, 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 no. It's breaking seriously from your end. Okay. No, 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 no. We can't hear you. Well, guys. All right. So I said my greatest success is. Mm. We want to hear that part. I don't know what is the what's wrong with the network. Oh. Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, 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 yeah. We want to hear I that part. Hear you. Okay. Hello. I hope, I hope you can all hear me also. Drop in the comments if you can hear me. Uh, the network is really hurting up today. I, and I believe I believe last side the network we've, uh, we've gotten some some nuggets from today's video. Um, you can you, they, you can pick one or two things uh, she has shared. Drop it in the comments. Remember, learning is all about also teaching. Make sure you are sharing this with your team members. You are making them see the importance of connecting to these webinars all the time because they should learn directly from Hello, the start. Hello, you back. Now. Welcome back. Yes. <laughs> so, so let's, let's hear the final been. part. Let's hear from you. All right. So quickly, quickly, like I was saying, my greatest success has been the fact that God has helped me raise leaders across many. So I live here with thousands of people earning money in several countries. For me, that's a great blessing. Regardless of how high I would have risen in the corporate sector, I wouldn't be able to share money in like 10, 15 currencies to people all across the countries. But through Longbridge, I've raised families that are financially free across several nations. That's an amazing blessing. Fantastic. That, that's great. There's nothing like helping people and then of course, get to where they want to be. Unmute yourself. We can't hear you. You are muted.
Let me for you. Are you there? Wow. Can you Welcome hear me back. now? Okay. We're going to hear you now. All right. So that was the first thing I said about my greatest. Maybe if you change your location. Yes. You and then, of course, the creation. material blessings have been. Okay. Oh. Enormous. Like, oh, can you see? Like, okay. okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, I, and then of course, every star director in Long Beach has got a lot of material benefit. I've got a lot of cars. I mean, multiples of cars. I've traveled to <laughs> several countries. I've even turned down international trips. You know, now the problem we have is which country should we go to good of sit at the year or media you know i'm going to do one two three four countries this year i'll monetize the rest i remember when i was on maternity leave i could not travel with my baby i got the money for my trips instead and they ran in of naira so I'm very interested in the bank to look. I need people to wake up and pay attention. Longreach is here to actually show us a better way. It's a worry that always says, we, you may know, network marketing is not perfect. So I agree with the critics who say, there's a lot of problem in network marketing. I agree with you. But what industry does not have its fair share of problems? So we're not saying we're a perfect industry, but we are telling you that we have a better way. And we are willing to show you a space company very flexible and it listens to the mm. Who are still contemplating an error <laughs> follow? And so with this model, star result. Thank you very much for sharing with us your story, share, telling us how, what the, challenge, the challenges you went through, what helped you in the business. Uh, from all the webinar we've had so far, what helped all the leaders to get to where they are is because they decided to go pro. To go yes. pro, guys. So I want you to drop in the comment now. Yes. Go pro, go pro, guys, go pro. Go pro, go books. pro, read all yeah, you can read. read. Books. They absorbed self development. They, they, you get it? They they apply all the things they've been learning. And yeah. today they, they, they also help their team go pro, and that is yes. why they are where they are today. And so if you've not if you've not decided to win, there is no way you can win, guys. If you've not, <laughs> you see that the reason why you are not making it to this business is because you are playing small, you're not you're not doing the needful. And so learn, dream get, big, get, get. increase your dream ability. Dream big, yes. dream big. Dream big. So thank you very much, my SD, for this opportunity we have with we have with, uh, we, 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 we have with you. Thank you for the time. I know you are a very busy woman. The network hearted up seriously today. There is no problem. We we'll continue the our next show on Wednesday. We we'll let you know the timing. Uh, uh, SD uh, is not available in the evening. That's why we did it this time. I hope others will be available in the evening also. If they are not, we're going to use their time. And just take note, this show is for Wednesday. <sighs> Thank you very much.
Bobo Kahenda, I'm eating. No, it's 